The Yule Phone number 15 is Yule Phone's latest budget rugged device. It is the first rugged device from Yule Phone to have a built-in TWS earbuds. Currently, Yule Phone is doing a giveaway. If you wish to participate in the giveaway, there will be a link in the video description. The giveaway will be ending in 10 days. So if you want to stand a chance of winning a free Yule Phone number 15, then use the link in the video description. There are other links in the video description of how to quickly get your hands on the ammo 15 as well. But before using the links in the video description, let's find out some of the key features of the Yule Phone number 15. If you're new here, kindly subscribe and turn on notifications. So without further ado, let's head into it. So the Yule Phone number 15, as we know, is Yule Phone's latest budget rugged device. It has a built-in TWS earbuds. It is the device's unique selling point and it is Yule Phone's first device to have such a very nice feature. The TWS earbuds is designed for efficiency and comfort. The Yule Phone number 15 acts as the case of the TWS earbuds. Immediately you take out the earbuds from the Ammo 15, the earbuds connects automatically to the Ammo 15. And once you're done with the earbuds and you place them back inside the Ammo 15, the earbuds charges automatically as well. Like I said, the Ammo 15 is kind of like the case of the earbuds and the earbuds last for a very long time. There is also a multifunctional key which allows you to change and choose any of the different control modes. So now let's talk about the specs of the Yule Phone Ammo 15. So the Ammo 15 has what looks like a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The display size is 5.45 inches. The resolution is HD+. And there is no mention if there is a Gorilla Glass protection or not. The phone is powered by the Helio G35 chip. Alongside the Helio G35, there is 6 GB RAM and 128 GB internal storage. The Helio G35 is a low-end chip, guys. It is good for normal usage like making phone calls, streaming online, and other light tasks. And of course, the Helio G35 could run some of the games available on Play Store. The phone has a very nice design. It has metal frame. On the right side, there's a power button and volume keys. On the other side, there's a customizable key and a SIM slot. And also on the right side, right below the power button, there is a shortcut key that enables you to quickly launch the camera app. At the back of the phone, there's a huge bump which houses dual cameras and a flash. The dual camera consists of a 12 megapixel primary sensor and a 13 megapixel additional camera. I think it's going to be a wide angle lens. The phone has a 16 megapixel camera for selfies. The phone also has dual front facing symmetrical speakers with a loudness of about 100 decibels. It also ships with the Android 12 OS right out of the box. It supports NFC and it is rated IP68 and IP69K. It is also military standard S10G certified. There is a multifunctional protective case that ships with the Amo 15 and just so you know it also has a side mounted fingerprint scanner. The power button is embedded with a fingerprint scanner. The phone is backed up by a 600mAh battery and I think it's going to support fast charging but there is no details about that for now. The Amo 15 in my opinion is a very nice device. I love the fact that it has a built-in TWS earbuds and the symmetrical speakers are very cool as well. The Amo 15 is a perfect rival of the Duji S61 series. Now I think I'll be comparing the Amo 15 with the Duji S61 in a separate video. Anyway, what do you think about the Amo 15? Make sure to share in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.